Hey, this is Clayton from TheGoal60.com with part two of five for the Power Five Conference breakdowns and my outlook on how the season will go. So just real quick to kind of go over a few things. Um, I do come up with my own power ratings. It's not really a ranking. It's more of a rating per team. I break down the four positions of or the four groupings of offensive rushing, defense, offensive passing, defensive rushing, and defensive passing. Uh, then I go into, on this, I actually went through the season, looked at the schedule, how they fell home versus away, and kind of come up with an outright winner for each game, and that's how I come up with my prediction on this. Now keep in mind that everything I go over in this video is, in fact, off of talent and how the schedule fell. Uh, injuries can happen. It's right now, we're just under three weeks away from the first college football game, four weeks away from... Uh, most of the college football teams kicking off so a lot can happen between now and then but this is kind of how I feel about how the season will go overall so just to uh, jump in I'm, this video will be part two of five and it's the ACC and Notre Dame the reason I group Notre Dame with the ACC is because now if they have that new contract they have to play so many ACC games per year it just made sense to put them in with ACC and not the Big Ten. So the Notre Dame is the only team that I go over that is an independent. So Notre Dame, I have eight returning starters on offense, seven on defense. I have them projected going eight and, eight and four, which is exactly the opposite of what they did last year at four and eight. So I have them bouncing back. I think they've got a really good quarterback and uh, some good returning starters on offense to give them some more points that they did not have last year. Uh, Vegas says that they'll go 7-5 and five with the overshade at minus 130 and the under at plus 100. I don't see enough difference in what I have projected to go and bet that, that number, so I would stay away. Next up is the ACC. Now last year the ACC dominated. In my opinion, they beat Alabama in the championship game. They had the Heisman Trophy winner. They did very well in their bowls. And, and that's really the only way you can, you know, uh, put a, one conference against another is just looking at how they take them on at the end of the year. So I think the ACC was probably the strongest last year. Um, we'll jump into the Atlantic Division first. I have Florida State winning the Atlantic Division and playing for the championship game. So Florida State returns six stars on offense, nine on defense. I have them going 11 and 1, 9 and 0 in the conference, with their only loss being to Alabama in the first week of the season. Vegas has them at nine and a half, so with 11 to nine and a half, it's at least a game and a half away. So I think the over at minus 150 is the play. The under at plus 120 just does not bring enough value. I don't see this team going nine and three. They have way too many weapons for that to be the play. Next up, I have Louisville. Now. Louisville returns the Heisman Trophy winner, but I don't think that's the reason. I don't have, that's not the single reason that I have them finishing second in the Atlantic. They bring back four starters on offense. So he's going to have a lot of trouble, but I do think that having the Heisman Trophy winner is going to be enough to kind of get that offense rolling and get the other guys some playing time. In about week three to four, you'll see Louisville really come alive. So I have them finishing 11 and 1. The defense returns seven starters. So you can already tell that that's going to be a solid defense. It's going to have, you know, they're not going to allow a ton of points, just enough to keep them in the game. So 11 and 1, 8 and 1 the conference, very good year. Nine and a half wins is what Vegas has set. Just like Florida State, I think the over is the play here at minus 140. So those two teams, I'm not the only one, obviously, that wants the over, with the, the favorite being minus 150 and minus 140. Louisville's under is plus 110. I just don't see enough value there to take the under. Clemson, I have finishing third with five returning stars on offense and seven on defense. I don't see the defense dropping off a lot. I do think the offense is going to struggle, especially at the start of the year, but I do think they'll come around, and I think they'll be fine as the year goes on. I have them finishing nine and three, six and three in the conference. Nine and a half win total in Vegas with the over at plus 100 and the under at minus 130. I just don't see enough there to make a bet. Only being a half a game, half game away from that projection. I have North Carolina State finishing fourth. 
Nine returning starters on offense, eight on defense. I have them going six and six, including a win against South Carolina in the very first game of the year. Three and six in the conference. The Vegas has a line set at seven and a half, with the over at plus 105 and the under at minus 135. Again, just like with the other two that I would take, the under is the way I would go, even though there's more juice there. Syracuse I have finishing next with nine returners on offense and ten on defense. I have them going six and six and making it to a bowl game. Three and six in the conference. Vegas has them set at four and a half wins. So obviously at six and six, I would take the over here. Right now, neither way has moved a lot. Both over and under is minus 110. So I do think there's extreme value there in Syracuse. I think that's a play to go with the over. I see them putting up a lot of points this year. And with 10 returning starters on defense, they ought to be at least able to slow down some folks enough to outscore them. Boston College always has a strong defense. But I have them returning eight starters on offense and seven on defense and going five and seven in the conference. Now, with eight returning starters on offense, the only problem is they just don't score a lot of points. So if you return a ton of starters, you could return all 11 if you wanted. But when you're only averaging scoring around 10 points a game, there's really no amount of starters that matter. Really, I see them going five and seven, three and six in the conference with a four over under as a win total in Vegas. The over is minus 130 with the under at plus 100. It's just not enough, only being one game away from that to see value. Wake Forest bringing up the last spot in the Atlantic Division with bringing nine starters back on offense and five on defense. I just see them giving up too many points this year. Uh, I see them going four and eight, one and eight in the conference with a five and a half game win total in Vegas with the over at plus 115 and the under at minus 145. There is some value in the under, but at minus 145, that is very stiff for me to even take. Uh, the Coastal Division, I have Virginia Tech playing Florida State in the championship game. Now, this is a little different. A lot of people have Miami making a lot of uh, strides this year, and I have them actually finishing lower. But Virginia Tech, I have five stars on offense and seven on defense. Now, I know that that sounds like a very low amount, but with the guys they got coming back, they're key positions. Quarterback did leave, so that's the overall most important position. But I think, I just feel like this team is going to be okay, and they've got a really good head coach. So I think they'll do fine. I got them going 10-2, and 8-1 and one in the conference. Vegas has a nine-game over-under for them, with over at plus 100 and under minus 130. I do not see any value there. Miami, I have finished in second. With seven returning starters on offense and eight on defense, I have them going nine and three and six and three in the conference. Nine is the number in Vegas, so I have it hitting dead on top of that. So I don't see any type of value there, but the over is minus 140 and the under is plus 110. Pittsburgh is coming in with six returning starters on offense, four on defense. I have them going seven and five, five and four in the conference. And the over-under is, again, seven. So I'll hit that nail on the head. Uh, the over is plus 100, while the under is minus 130. I uh, do not see any type of um, value there. Moving along, got Georgia Tech coming in fourth. I have eight returners on both sides of the ball. So I see that as being a lot better team this year. Last year they had a terrible year. Last few years they've had bad years. So I see them going six and six and making it to a bowl game. Four and five in the conference, and the over under in Las Vegas is six and a half. So the over under is minus 110. Obviously, I'm only a half a game below, so I wouldn't touch that at all. Uh, next up, North Carolina. I really think this, this team is going to have a lot more problems than they have the last few years. I feel like the last couple of years they've had a really good defense, or not a really good defense, but a good defense with a really good offense. Uh, Gene Chizik was a good defensive coordinator for them, enough to allow them to win games, enough to allow them to stay in the games. They wouldn't a juggernaut defense, but they were good enough to get the job done. I don't see that happening this year. They returned five on offense, seven on defense, but I have them going four and eight, two and seven in the conference. I just don't see how this team can keep performing at the level they are. Um, currently, Vegas has them at seven. 
on the over under plus 100 to the over minus 130 to the under so I would take the under I am three games difference between that Duke I have finishing next with seven returners on offense five on defense I have them going four and eight two and seven in the conference coach Cutcliffe is one of the best in the business but he had such good success up until last year I think this team has took a step back it's going to take him a little while to rebuild um, Vegas has them at five and a half with the over being plus 120 and the under being minus 150. So I would again, I would take the under in this. And last, I have Virginia with five returning stars on offense and eight on defense. I have them going four and eight, one and eight in the conference. Uh, the over under is five with the over being minus 130 and the under being plus 100. I don't see any value there, so I would, I would skip out on that. So again, just to recap, in the championship game for the ACC, I have Florida State taking on Virginia Tech with Florida State winning and having a rematch against Alabama in the playoffs. I think Alabama does beat them for a second time this year and goes on to the national championship to play Ohio State with Alabama winning it all. So there you go for the ACC. Again, all of this will be in a, in a blog form on thegoal60.com. Feel free to check that out. Like and share this video and follow me at the goal 60 uh, for more content. Every week I will be putting out a video for the, that week's breakdown of the games. So I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. Check out the other videos as well. Thanks.